I just want to show this to you real quick. Isaiah 55. He says here, now watch this. Let's just read this, okay? Isaiah 55, and let's just start in verse 6. Now, you could go back further, and that's fine, but I'm going to start in verse 6 just for time. He says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And look at verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Notice the word way and thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You look at verse 8. Here's the verse you've heard. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Who's he talking to? The wicked. The wicked. Not the righteous, the wicked and the unrighteous. He never said that the righteous ways were not the ways, his ways. He said the wicked. He said, let the wicked forget his ways and the unrighteous his thoughts. Right? So when he says, my ways aren't your ways, my thoughts aren't your thoughts, and your thoughts aren't, he wasn't talking to the righteous. He was talking to the wicked. Come on, this is just in context. Let's just read the verses. Everybody quotes all the time. You ever notice you ask, somebody said, well, you know, his ways are above our ways. No, wait a minute. Where is that in the Bible? Well, I don't know, but I know it's there. <laughs> well, you know what? If you can't tell me where it's at, shut up. Right. <laughs> Why? Because you're quoting probably half a verse. You're probably quoting part of it and leaving some of it out. If you don't know where it's at, why would you even quote? Well, you know, well God, I know it's in there. I mean, bless God. I mean, everybody knows that cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, I know that's in the first book of Benjamin Franklin, not the Bible. <laughs> but see, the only reason you can get full with that stuff is because you're not in the Word. You get in the Word and get the Word in you, you don't get fooled. Why? Because then people quote that kind of stuff, you know, and, and we, we see it all the time, and there's all kinds of things, you know, well, you know, and we could go on and on, but notice, <clears throat> you have to realize... All these things, well, you know, his ways are mysterious. Yeah. You know, and we don't know his will. No, his, he says that he has made known his will unto us. Yeah. Not to everybody, but to his children. Why? Why? How, exactly. We have the mind of Christ. Now, just because you don't access it, don't mean you ain't got it. Yeah. Right? He also said in 1 John, and you, you know all things. And people, well, I don't know all things. Well, ask your teenager. They know all things. <laughs> yeah, and they'll tell you they know all things, you right? See? But the Bible says you know all things. Well, where do you know all things? In your head? No, in your spirit. Yeah. Why? Because all the, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hid in Christ. Yeah. And guess what? You have his mind. Yeah. 